Yes, my peoples, it's Chunks. Welcome to the timeline. Now, this is the show I'll be quizzing one of my celebrity friends on their personal timeline from when they were born to where they are right now. We'll go back in time and visit key milestones in their life, but this is a quiz. So I'm gonna be asking questions as well that line up with the time frame. But before we introduce our first guest, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell so you're notified when we upload. Have you done it? Good. Let's get into this. We are joined by a Manchester maverick. It's the biggest gallist I know. Hey, Tony! Hey, 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 fly boy, back daddy with the juice. juice. My doggy, how you, how you feeling, man? Very excited. Yeah? I like the way you just introduced me then as well. Come on, bro, real life, we're on yeah, natural bedroom, bro. Yeah, it was nice. It was Ain't nice. a joke thing over here. Timeline. Like are you feeling confident about this one? Yeah, what, me? Yeah. Crazy. All right, then cool. Hey, hey. Let's have a little combo. Let's go. 1999, my YG, man. Yeah, uh, come on. 9th December 1999, Little Harrison was born. Little Harrison was born, best day in the world. In Manchester? In Manchester, yeah. So, what did your parents do? My dad started off as a plumber, pipe fitter. Fitting pipes, mental. Mad. Uh, <laughs> I think my mum worked for some sort of insurance company, but then when my sisters were born, she just cared for my sisters. House mother. Yeah. My favourite, yeah. man. Yeah. So what's like earliest memories of Manchester, man? Ooh. Madness, pedal bikes. I was never not on my pedal bike. Yeah. Best at wheelies in Moston. Ask oh. the ends about me. Big uh, statement. Moston, what are you saying? Ask you agree him, with that? Ask him about me. What was it like, like Moston to grow up in? Because obviously, I feel like Manchester, there's loads of different sections that have different accents as well. You're, you're probably, have, you probably I have the strongest the strong one, yeah. Manny accent of any person that I know, bro. Yeah. So what was Moston like? Right, so from the outside looking in, it's just a big <laughs> hole. <yeah. laughs> you're from there, it's like, it's your Oh, yes, it's, your, yes, it's your big playground, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I loved it, obviously. I genuinely wouldn't have chose to grow up anywhere else. That I feel like it it makes you a good person. Still go back there. to Boston and that here? Every single day. I love, that. I love that. So obviously being from Boston, being from Manchester, mm -hmm. there's two teams you can support. I want to talk about that right now. So why, oh, United, because of how horrible you guys are? Yes. You just lost three now? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Fair yeah, right. I, I grew up, the only thing I knew was Man United. Mm -hmm. And them times, it was absolutely killing the game. All right, bro, I've got a question for you. 1999. Yeah. Which of these players had just captained United to winning the treble? Is it A, Eric Cantona? Is it B, Roy Keane? C, Peter Schmeichel or D, Gary Neville? Oh. I want to say it was Roy Keane or Gary Neville, but why would it? It's Gary Neville or Roy Keane. Oh, my head's going crazy right now. Was it Roy Keane? Roy Keane, final answer? Should it be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get 10 it. points, man. Well Get done, brother. Yes. We're going to move on to the next question now. This question is, which of these kid toys was released and became the craze of the year? Is it A, micro scooters, B, gooey alien eggs, yeah. C, action stand with kick and button, or D, Tanner, Barbie's pooping dog? I remember the, the <laughs> dog. I definitely remember that. What you say, the gooey aliens? Yeah, I, feel like that, I feel like that was a bit later, though. What else is there? Micro scooters. What's that? Mini scooters, I'm guessing. I don't know. Bro. Just look, just literally, yeah, mini, physically mini scooters. Yeah, but then maybe that could have came from Waddy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Let's go action stand kicking button. That's a fake toy. Made Shut up. up. I don't even know exactly. I don't even know what that is. You know what it was? Gooey alien. Gooey alien. Oh man. my god. <laughs> Throwback. Let me see if it still works. Why do you love about this so much? This is do you weird. Know it's so satisfying now. What? If you slapped it off that back wall. <laughs> they stared at me and told me not to do it. Okay. Let's go to the next step of your life, 2009. Do you know why we're talking about 2009? Why is that? Twin sisters are born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like having two little sisters, man? It's good. Everyone presumes it's twins and it's just like the, the same person, person but no, nah, it's, it's a, two completely different characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Made a song about Gracie. What inspired that? Actually, was my dad. Your dad is, your dad is jumping in the studio. Yeah. What's that, bro? <laughs> That's me. crazy. We call Gracie G. We just, What's yes. happening, G? G, come here, whatever. Yeah. Rah, rah. And one day, my dad just said to me randomly, you should make a song about Gracie, but call it My G. But that was like probably a year, maybe two years before I even made the song. I was always a bit scared of making the song. Do you know what I was, to be honest, I was scared of what other people would say. Yeah, I get you. I and get then, you. I get you. Yeah. Because your head would be gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, get, I know exactly what you're talking about. But yeah, I ended up doing it. 
and then you end up realizing that the world is actually a better place than you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone loves, loves it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a big bro. tune. Shout out, shout out, Ed as well. Just Ed cheering. Yeah, just my mate Ed who got yeah. the tune about my sister. Anyway, next question. Yeah, cool. Mental. I know you skydive to raise money and for awareness of dancing drum. Yep, yep, yep. Why was that so important to you? First of all, it's just it's just nice to do nice things. I feel like from the outside looking in, a lot of people feel like it's say they have a kid with Down syndrome or whatever, it's a big, it's a scary thing or something, or, but it's it's actually, Normal, it's, the, it's the littest thing in the world, <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, it, I wouldn't change nothing. 100%, yeah. man. Got a question for you, brother. Mm -hmm. 2009 Science Sats paper, one of the questions was, when copper metal is heated, it reacts with a gas mm. in air. Mm -hmm. What is the chemical name of the product form when copper reacts with a gas in the air? I can't lie to you. If this was my exam, like, I would have smashed this. Yeah, you're smart, you aren't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, to be fair, we did a general knowledge video on yeah, my just channel. Allow it. And allow he it. came up against Philly, which is a doofus. He lost. Bad day for so, me. So think about it. Now copper, when copper reacts to the gas in the air. What's in the air? CO2. That as well as a lot of other things, but never mind. Let's just say now copper reacts to something. What does it become? Copper? Copper nitrate or something like nitrogen, something like that. I don't know. Okay. Wait, I'll let me just think. That's not my answer. Wait. Okay, cool. Struggling, Copper oxide or something. <laughs> He's healthy. He's, He's healthy. healthy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Run, run, run. Let's go. Big up, big up. No, no, no one's yeah. up there. No one's up there. We've got Mr. Lane there, science teacher, year 10 yeah. and that. Yeah. 20 points, come on. Yeah, no? 20 out of 30. 20 out of 30. Not bad, you know. Yeah, come on. Okay, we'll move on to 2010. What happened in 2010? I'm asking you to see if you remember. For me? Yeah. For. Wow. You know, it's so funny that I, I never knew this. Kickboxing. Kickboxing. Kickboxing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 2010, you're 11 years old and you're winning kickboxing trophies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No cap. <laughs> when did he start that? 2010. Right, whenever now people are acting crazy and they want to threaten us to fight, he says he will smash them in. So I'm mad at thinking, <laughs> where's the confidence come from? It's because of his kickboxing success. You can kick high. I could kick high. That's a light one, that one. He went high, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> like, let me see a little one two <sighs> combo. Let yeah. me just. I like the way he moves as well, like <laughs> his shoulder and. Yeah, he knows a little two two Saturn. Fair play. So, what did it teach you? Like, what's the bigger grand scheme of things that, like, kickboxing taught you? I don't know, I suppose discipline. And then back to 1999, you grow up in Boston. You well, can't. Bro. Yeah, man, I'm not getting my pedal bike took off me. I, right now, next time we go out in the shoot, I'm going to just start on something. I'll be running down the road. No, you can't run, no way. I've got too much to lose these days, so I don't have nothing to lose, man. Perfect. <laughs> All right, question time, brother. Who was the most followed person on Twitter in 2010? Is it A, Obama? Yeah. Is it B, Lady Gaga? Yeah. Or is it C, Cristiano Ronaldo? Lady Gaga. Correct. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is cut out of redemption. Redemption. Next question. Which of these games was the top selling game of 2010? across all platforms? Is it A, Call of Duty Black Ops? Is it B, Madden NFL 11? Is it C, Halo Reach? Or is it D, New, Se New Super Mario Bros? Yeah, it's gotta be Black Ops. Bloody hell. Yeah? Yeah, well done, bro. Yeah. You've done incredible, that's actually. What, why? You didn't expect this. No, I can't. You thought you was gonna spend all day slagging me off. Yeah, I, I was excited. Yeah, I had yeah. cusses ready and everything. Yeah, no. All right, no. cool, so that's the beginning, Nova. Where am I going now? Growing up section, mate. 2015 times. So how old are you? 16? I'm probably 15. I'm in December, innit? Yeah. December 9th. Yeah, December 9th. He knew that already, he didn't have to read the cards. Genuinely, yeah, he yeah. knows I did. Your friend uploaded your first freestyle on YouTube. Yeah. How long have you been rapping for? Why did you rap? When did you know you were good? I've got so much questions. So, 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 so. Snapchat. Me and my boy used to send each other voice notes and like rapping, but just like basically dissing each other's mums, as you do. <laughs> Like, he'd send me a little one, two lines, but I was just going, you know what I mean? I was like, and this, and this, and da, da, da. So I was thinking, right, I'm mad. I started writing bars one day. Then we all, I got drunk on a park once. It happens though, it's life. <laughs> and then I just built up the confidence to say, yo, everyone check this. Sat everyone down on the bench, played the beat. Da, 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 started rapping. The question here is actually, do you remember the bars? Yeah, you can't hear them. There's no way you can hear them. It's madness. <laughs> Nuts. I'd never say that ever again in my life. And then I was like, what do you think? Everyone was going, bah, 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 bah. everyone was going sick. Obviously my boy filmed it. And then I was like, don't put that video anywhere. Though. That's just for us, you know what I mean? Let me do my little thing first, calm. And I remember my phone died while I was out, so I walked home. By the time I got home, put my phone on charge, the video was on YouTube. So my boy snaked me. So wait, did you still speak to him? Yeah, because it 
made it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but that was it. And then them times, I remember it got like 10,000 views. 10K Mad. back in 2015 was gold. And then that was it. I just kept doing it. When I was trying to look for after. Oh, you'll die, bro. Yeah, when I was trying. You'll start. die. All right, brother, it's question time 2015. Now, which was the most watched TV show in the UK in 2015? A, EastEnders. Mm. B, Gogglebox. Or mm. C, Great British Bake Off. When I think of Great British Bake Off, I just think of like my nana and stuff like that. Like, do people watch EastEnders these days? Has EastEnders fell off now? I can't lie to you. I don't know one, one character from there. Phil Mitchell? You can't be still in there. No, nah, he's not in there now, I don't think. Was Gogglebox even about in 015? I'll go EastEnders. What did you say your nana watches at the beginning? F off, is it Great British Bake Off? You have to think about who sits on the TV and watching stuff. Nanas? It's a f joke, that. <laughs> <laughs> Great British Bake Off. All right, so the next one. Who are these 2015 lyrics about? Oh, that's mental. If I can say this, I don't mind, I'm black, but he's He's black. His hairline goes all the way back. <laughs> Who's <laughs> that about? Oh, Stormzy. <laughs> what song? Oh, the hairline. But I still f your girl, go retweet that. There you go. Uh, Look at your same man for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I got that point. You got that got point. That you point. got one out of two there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to move to 2017 now. Yes. What happened there? You tell me what happened. You don't even there. know, do you? No. I released Straight Rhymes. No, no, it's not about that one. <laughs> here, it's you studying sport at college. I was. Yes. The physio. But what? If man's calves hurt, what are you going to do for me? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> what was the goal? The goal was to start everything, keep my mum and dad happy. Yeah and wait to blow up. That's where you were doing that, not construction, was it like some type of labor or was it Yeah, that? yeah, yeah, that was like, I think I just left school, done some construction and yeah. that. And then even in Manchester, I was like kind of known. So I started getting embarrassed when I was like walking down the road with like ladders on my shoulder. Thinking, what he was doing? like, yo, is that H? And I'd be like, nah. Is that I like, get what you came because so, I used to work at a cinema, bro, when I was yeah, like at YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I get clocked, I used to be like, it's a little side hustle. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 I yeah trying you, to blend it. But yeah, nah, I had to do something. So if you weren't a rapper, what would you do? It'd probably be something to do with sport. Left back at United. I wish. <laughs> I wish I was left back at United now. You know what time is now? Question time. That year, I starred in a music video. You did. Yeah. Man's not hot. Done. Next question. What was my name? Asni. Yeah. He smashed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rah, hey, my brother knows me, man. Yeah. That's my dog. <laughs> Let's go over 2018, man. So what happened here now? I blew up. Straight rhymes. Straight rhymes. That's how everyone knew about me. Absolutely everywhere. Yeah. After that freestyle, mm -hmm. how soon after was it starting to? So I dropped that freestyle, but it didn't blow up straight away. It took a couple of days. So that estate where I filmed it, my boy lives just, just behind us kind of thing. So a couple of days later, I was at his house just chilling. Sat there, phone just going ding, 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 ding. I'm no. like, what's going on? I've never seen this emoji come up on my phone ever, and it was like the thermometer emoji, Your and it was like going hot. it's overheating. Bullshit. On my life, on my mother's, sister's, father's life, yeah, the phone was like someone's poured a kettle on it. Yo, it was flaming. So that was it. I was like looking at the man. And I was like, have I just blew up? Like, is this happening right now? Like, what the? F it just started flying, it just didn't It just didn't stop. So what was like the next opportunity that came from that straight rhymes? Literally went to London, me and my manager like a week after. I just wanted 10 grand or something, I didn't even realise what was going on. You know what I mean? I was like, just give me some money. Yeah. I just don't want to work anymore. Yeah. I signed with a label and then that was it, I just knew. And then I was, a, I suppose I was just a rapper from then, innit? So Put out a single and then I started doing like Keisha Becky thing, strike a pose oh, after that. that, that time? You know that's my favourite verse of yeah, still yeah, today. Yeah. That's yeah. Your ex fly by yeah, my daddy, daddy with a juice. juice. Strike a pose, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not with the bad uh, 90s, 30s. So I'm actually, actually you know, you, ooh. Rap another. Uh, <laughs> I said we went to the back of it. Bro, when that tune came out, I said, eight mm. might be top three already. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. incredible, man. But, so from there, it kind of just went. Hey, it's just not stopped going since then. Amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very happy for you, brother, man. Thank you. Next question, bro. From that freestyle, the straight rhymes. Do you know how many views that video now has on YouTube? Probably 20 something million. What's the something? I think it might be like 23 million. 27 million. Is man. it 27? Incorrect. Uh, Incorrect. No. Next one is which fast food chain issued an apology for running out of chicken in 2018? KFC. Yeah, jolting, <laughs> Kentucky Fried run out of chicken. <laughs> bro, you on fire, bro. Three out of five in that section. Five. We're gonna go over to 019s. Here and now, man. Not really now, but 
Here ish. Here ish. We're almost there. We're almost there. What happened in 2019? Big thing. Big thing. Big. I don't know. Did I go platinum? We done that. Yeah, done like, platinum enough time. Don't worry about that. Anyway, what happened? Collab with Ed Sheeran, man. Oh, That's yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, I want to ask, how did that come about? So Ed done a song called "Take Me Back to London." Yes. He wanted to do a remix to it, but outside of London, he wanted to do Manchester and Birmingham. So he shouted me and JK. I was just on my phone one time, got a message, Ed oh, Sheeran. Ed. I said, what? Teddy photos on Teddy's Instagram. Teddy's photos on Instagram, Ruh. Brought him to the ends in the cafe where I used to go every morning before school. Oh, it was madness. The whole ends was out. And the funny thing is with that song, I had a single called Taste. Taste. That was at number two. I was about to hit number one. And then I jumped on the Ed Sheeran remix and then the Ed Sheeran remix went number one. So you got a number one plaque, but you, you don't really claim it. I got the number one plaque, but I don't claim that. That's just like, that's like a present from Ed, that one. Yeah. That's how I'll take that. And he got me a pair of shoes. He had, a, he had some Louis Vuitton boots on. I said, yo, they're sick. He said, do you like them? I said, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, I'll put your address there. And his iPad, I said, oh, yeah, go on. Put them in there a couple of days later, boots at my door. I've never put them on my feet once, they're just there in the box. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what size are you? Uh, 10. Oh, my size. <laughs> ah, okay, well, uh, I'll come over to the house soon. Um, are you guys still friends now? We are. And then Jeez, we made a tune. How did that come about, though, when you ask Ed Sheeran to jump on a song? Is he, like, just yes straight away, or...? I didn't want to use the Ed Sheeran card too much. Of course. From old 19 to... So didn't to, I, didn't, until I, didn't even, I didn't even want to bother him or anything. Or, and then the My G tune came out. Obviously, I made that tune, and I kind of, I kind of guilt tripped him a little bit. I was like, "Listen, it's a song. She's got Down syndrome. It's my sister." Yeah. Do you know, do you know Just to make it happen. Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, of course." I mean, but, but nah, he's, he's, yeah, he's the guy. Question: What is currently Ed Sheeran's most streamed song on Spotify? It's, it's Shape of You, isn't it? Correct. Streams. Three point two billion. Close, bro. Is it? Three point six four billion. Ooh. Yeah, man. Trying to work out how much Brady made with that. No. <laughs> so, what you want to 2022. Yes. Can you tell me what you did there on what? the 19th of August? On the 19th of August 2022. Yeah, go on. Let me ask you. Oh, my album? Is it my album? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You dropped your debut album close to home. Yes. And it goes number two in the charts. Mm -hmm. What was your feeling on that week? Did you think it would go in the top three? Yeah, I knew, I knew it was going to do well. Yeah. To be honest with you, I didn't even care. I think that was the first time I. I covered certain subjects in my music and kind of was a bit more vulnerable. I was kind of bored of being seen as that guy who was like just rapping about parties or girls or this, this, that. My album was just a case of don't even judge me unless you listen to that album and you'll, and you'll get it. You know Bang it, mean? man. So what is the meaning of the first album? A lot of bars on the, on the album where only people from Manchester would even, when I named certain roads yeah, or da -da -da, yeah, only they would understand. So I was sat there saying, we need something, we need a name that's like, that's close to home. And then one of my producers, Lytech, he just said, just call it close to home then. And I went, say no more. Oh, I like it, like it's cold. Yeah, cold. Like, it's that game, that one. Yeah, 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 Shh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's cold with it. But question time. Question is, which group beat your album? Oh, with another steps. Fucking <laughs> steps. <laughs> Fuming. <laughs> with H from steps, often being confused with H. Yeah, when I go, when I meet people, and, and usually it's like a kid and, and the mum. Yeah. The mum's like taking a picture going, I thought you was H from Steps. And I'm like, yeah, you're deaf all over 55. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. All right, well, the next question on this section is, in February 2022, a few months after you tweeted Liam Gallagher, your dream collab, saying, I will pay seven million for you to be on my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How did he respond? Was it A, he ain't got seven million quid, B, I can't be f***ing bought. Or C, he's a United fan, so it's not f***ing happening. I don't think he did respond. And if he did, I don't f***ing see it. He'll go mad. This is what I can't do. To be honest, this is a difficult answer. I can imagine it coming out of his mouth like he ain't got seven million quid. Well, the answer is, he said all the above. <laughs> he also said some nice things, such as, he don't need, need me on this album anyway, but I do appreciate the fact he thinks I'm cool. Fair enough. I don't know whether to say thanks or <laughs> off to him, to be honest. Well, next question, which football club had three of his players starting in the World Cup final. A, Atletico Madrid. B, Real Madrid. C, PSG. Or D, Tottenham. It's gotta be PSG. No. Atletico Madrid. Ah. Yeah, man. That section, you haven't done great. You got one out of three. Got one out of three. But it's time for 2023, baby. Okay, let's yeah, go. Here, 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 here and now. Okay, so, now 2023, what happened? 2023. What did we celebrate? Um, we were out. We were out? Yeah. Was Philly there? I'm pretty sure. Brits, maybe? Oh yeah, the Brits, yeah, yeah. Performed with Coldplay. I did, oh, 
headline Glass Glastonbury? No, I didn't headline it, but I, I might as well off because I absolutely shut the place down. Amazing. I'm yeah. so happy and proud of you, man. Thank you. So, like the Brit Award meeting. I remember you did a speech, people online were talking rubbish about it. Yeah. What do you think the problem was with people online like talking about your speech and stuff? Some people thought that I shouldn't have won it. Yeah. Because... Other people should have won it. Because other people should have won yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Last question. Yeah. Playing the main stage at Glasto, basically, mm -hmm. must have been amazing. Mm -hmm. But do you know which two acts headline at Glasto the most, doing it four times? Coldplay, my mate, Uncle Chris. And the last one? You're not gonna get it. I'm not. I don't think so. I don't know who they are, but you probably do. Do you not? The Cure. Who? The Cure. The Cure? Yeah. Oh, no. No? Is it The Cure? Yeah. I'm not aware. Shout out The Cure, man. So, we're gonna do some VAR checks. Yeah, 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 okay, perfect. <laughs> I'll tell them now. 90 points, bro, well done, man. Absolutely incredible. 90 points, how are you feeling about the 90 pointer? Oh, it's amazing, it's better than winning the Brit, better than going platinum, better than the song of Ed Sheeran, you know what I mean? I feel like my life's complete now. <laughs> I'm proud to announce that you actually won the Alien <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What's your new name for your Alien? Chunks. <laughs> All right, oh well, yeah. <laughs> H is in first place, 90 points, the one to beat. And there you have it, that is the end of the first episode with HLEs. Great 90 pointer, man. I think generally it's going to take a lot to beat that, if I'm honest, man. You'll have to bring a math science teacher or something like <laughs> Someone, that. Someone, bro, I'll be honest with you, a general knowledge genius. Yeah, bring filler. I think it will get. Well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell so you're notified when we next upload. That's with my brother H, smashed it. Also, guys, please make sure you tune in for the next episode as we have a Sidemen member, a big one. But when I was like super young, I just remember having this memory yellow, of yeah. a yellow Chelsea kit. And I, was, I, was, I always wanted that kit. And my mum was always, would yeah, always like, yeah, you can have it. And my dad was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so dad, dad, no, dad, chance, no chance you're having that Chelsea kit. <laughs>